What's going on, people? Your boy, man, Mike, coming at you guys with yet another Atlanta Falcons video. And this one, three keys to victory. If we can get a victory against the Seattle Seahawks, this is going to be a tough one. And the first one, I'm just going to get into the injuries. Uh, Matt Ryan with an ankle injury may not play. Uh, Matt Schaub has been practicing all week for the most part. Um, Danny Eatland has been called up as the, ba as the backup for Sunday's game. So more than likely, Matt Ryan will not play against the Seattle Seahawks. And this is going to be a tough, tough game for the Atlanta Falcons to kind of try to get in, in, in the winning column. This is going to be tough. Um, but it's not impossible. This is the NFL. Any given Sunday, dog. Like any given Sunday, anything could happen. Uh, but the first um, signs, well, well, I got a couple more uh, injury updates. Uh, Jesus Christ. I like to just get straight to it, but bear with me, man. Um, Carpenter, he is out with a knee injury. Wes Weiser, Ty Sombrado, those guys will most likely step in. Um, Desmond Trufant also will not play um, against the Seattle Seahawks. But first one. First key to victory for the Atlanta Falcons for me is just the play calling. I think this is a major concern uh, for me because we all know that Dirk Cutter loves the deep ball. Dirk Cutter loves the deep ball, and that's not a strength of Matt Schaub. We know Matt Schaub um, is not what, what it once was, um, so you're going to see a ton of short and intermediate passes get it get the ball out of his hands but maybe this is something that the offense needs maybe it's something that the offense needs we don't need to hold the ball as much so um i mean i know it's a a, a small um quote unquote a small thought um uh, of victory um that may be a positive uh, and this potential victory for the atlanta falcons but, that, that, I mean, that's the best I could do. Short, intermediate routes. Don't expect big plays from Matt Schaub. Um, because, like like I said before, we know that Dirk Cutter is a deep ball thrower. He likes to throw the deep ball, but you can't do that with Matt Schaub. So, if Dirk Cutter can get in a play call and rhythm with Matt Schaub and establish the run, I think we'll be pretty good. So, um, the second one is exactly that. The running game. The running game, Jadavion Clowney. Jadavion Clowney um, is a solid run defend, run defender, a solid player. Have a, a nice, uh, a couple of nice players also uh, with Seattle. But the thing is, man, um, if we can't protect Matt Schaub with these short, intermediate routes, we don't, we're not going to win anyway. All right, and especially if we don't have the running game going with Devontae Freeman. Um, we'll have to see. I think Brian Hill will more, more than likely be that guy. Um, but I know a lot of people want to see Quadri Olison. Maybe Quadri Olison um, is active. Um, Ken John Bonner will most likely, if he doesn't, I, I, I know for a fact that Ken John Bonner would be their third uh, running back for the Atlanta Falcons. But we got to get Devontae Freeman going, man. We got to get him in a rhythm. If we have, if we want any chance of winning this game, your short intermediate routes, Matt Schaub, running game has to be absolutely on point. We cannot afford to get Matt Schaub killed, all right? And if Matt Schaub get killed, we got to bring in a third-string quarterback. And I know a lot of people are excited about the potential of Danny Eatling coming in as a a backup, yes, he can run, but we're gonna need more than just a running quarterback. He has to learn. He has to know how to throw the ball. Okay, Falcons fans. I know a lot of people love running quarterbacks. I know you guys cannot get over Michael Vick, but quarterbacks still have to throw the ball. And this is the issue that I have with Danny Eaton. Is he ready to be a true quarterback and not just sit back and you know run? Uh, we can do that option runs all day. But eventually, these players are going to get our players. Teams are going to uh, they're going to get caught. They're going to catch up to these these running plays. All right, Lamar Jackson. All right, he's a freak athlete, but defenses are, are, are going to adjust to running quarterbacks. This is the NFL. Teams are full filled with athletes. You can't outrun everybody. And if you know anything about history, history tells us that running quarterbacks tend to get injured more 
than anything. All right, so um, the third one is the defensive side of the ball. The defensive side of the ball. The defensive side of the ball. I'm trying to hype myself up. All right, I'm trying to hype myself up for the defensive side of the ball. The defensive side of the ball, you got to be aggressive, man. You can't just allow Russell Wilson to just sit back and do whatever he feels like. You can't allow it. Whether it's Vic Beasley, Tack McKinley, Grady Jarrett, we need someone else outside of those three to just step up and do something. Step up to do something. And I'm not going to pick on Devondre Campbell again because, let's be honest, outside of Vic, Tack, Grady Jarrett, who is the one that's going to step up and get consistent pressure? We can't, we can't look to Tyler Davidson. Tyler Davidson is a an old tackle. Jack Crawford, John Kaminsky, Adrian Claiborne, all you guys have to step up and get consistent pressure behind these three. That's the issue. We talk about coverage, but if you don't have consistent pressure behind those three guys, you have nothing. These guys are eventually going to get tired. Someone has to step up. Someone has to step up and be a source of liability. There's nothing after Tack, Vic, and Grady. No one is doing anything. Jack, Jack Crawford has been a disappointment after a career year last year. A complete bust. But we're so worried about Tack, Vic, and Grady. Yes, they should be doing much better. But these guys need to rest. They're on the field all the time. So, we got to get aggressive, whether that's with blitzes, mixing up coverages, got to just do something different. We can't just sit back and play cover three and go in zone all day. Play off. Let these guys catch has easy underneath throws. You can't allow that. So, five fans, let me know what you guys think about this, man. The three keys to victory. Leave your comments below. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Your boy, man, Mike is out, man. Peace. Princess Diana, double cup bling, found her. Oh my, oh God.